The Go Cube is a smart Rubik's Cube that boasts that it can teach you to solve it in one hour, but can it live up to that claim? The Go Cube is a connected smart Rubik's Cube that is meant to teach people how to solve a Rubik's Cube. It comes accompanied with a robust app which gamifies the learning of Rubik's Cube concepts keeping a gadget user entertained. Looking around the GoCube, we can see that it is quite small and has round edges. This makes it very comfortable to hold, even for someone who has particularly large hands like myself. I didn't have any problems holding or manipulating the GoCube. The GoCube connects to your phone via Bluetooth and boasts a 60 hour battery life, which is insane. It also features a range of sensors that allow it to determine exactly how you're holding it, which assists the app in teaching you how to solve Rubik's Cubes. The GoCube comes packed in a really nice box that opens similar to a book. Once the box is open, the GoCube is presented to you on one side, and the other side tells you that there's more goodies to unbox. You're presented with some documentation that includes a quick start guide, along with a product information guide, you also receive a charging cable as well as a two-piece charging stand and a nice velvet bag to store the cube. Setting up the GoCube is really simple. Once you've let the cube charge overnight, all you have to do is open the app which automatically searches for GoCubes near you. Once your cube appears, you can either tap on it to select it or change the name of your cube right there so that you don't get confused in future if you have more than one of these cubes. Once you open the app, you'll be prompted to create an account or log into an account to use the cube to its full potential. Once a gadget user is logged in, they'll see the way that they are holding the cube reflected on the screen of their smart device. Maybe after a little bit of syncing, or a lot of syncing, like every 10 minutes whilst you're using the cube. The app allows you to pick an experience level that suits you. Personally, I've never been able to solve a Rubik's cube, so I picked the easiest one. The app has many different mini games that you can play either solo, with friends, or with random people globally. All of these games are targeted at helping a gadget user become better at solving the Rubik's Cube. When you're playing solo, you go through game style levels that progressively increase in difficulty and skill set, which in turn increases your skills. Another game mode allows you to challenge people around the world with a random shuffle that you set prior to the game starting. This is different from other game modes where both players have the same shuffle. Now, let's see if the claim made by GoCube that it will be able to teach me how to solve a Rubik's Cube in an hour has any merit. So, it didn't teach me how to solve a Rubik's Cube within an hour. To be honest, I wasn't even done with the tutorial within that first hour. The tutorial took me a total of around an hour and 20 minutes, and afterwards you are just left to your own devices. Yes, there is a practice mode, but it is very confusing, and even if you solve the cube the way it wants you to, if you haven't done it with the exact moves that the app wants you to, it does not let you progress. This experience is only worsened by the app only showing you generic videos on how to solve the cube and not specific actions for you to take, like in the tutorial. If GoCube really wants to be able to teach people how to solve Rubik's Cubes, they need to sort this out immediately because in my experience, I was legitimately left in the dark with no way to advance my skills. To the GoCube's credit, it did teach me some really valuable skills on how to look at a Rubik's Cube to solve it, and I do feel that I could probably solve one now, given enough time. But I would still like to see them update their tutorials because half of the app is essentially unavailable to me because I don't know how to solve a cube quickly. I don't want this review to be all negative, but there are so many different parts of the GoCube and its app that are just not finished or buggy or clunky or just have something wrong with them. There are too many to go through them all in this video, but I'll rattle off the highlights. The app only shows the battery percentage your cube has at the beginning of your session and it doesn't update throughout your session. To get an accurate battery percentage of your cube, you need to close the app completely, then reopen it and reconnect your cube. When using the app's unjumble feature, you need to make sure that your cube is positioned perfectly and you haven't moved any of the faces with the cube offline or the app just doesn't know where the faces are. I needed to unjumble my cube and I used this feature which then unjumbled my cube, but when the cube was unjumbled, it was just as jumbled as before I started. 
Finally, the positioning of the cube on the screen seems to slowly drift compared to how the cube is actually positioned in the real world. This is something that is very subtle, but when you're trying to learn and you have to resync your cube, it really takes you out of the experience. But hey, at least the cube lights up. Sometimes. Also, the battery claim of 60 hours is ludicrous. I was using my cube with the inbuilt light off and I was barely pushing 10 hours of use. Maybe that's 60 hours without the app. Actually, let's look at it that way. How does the GoCube fare without the app? Well, it's a normal Rubik's Cube. Okay, that's a bit basic. But if we look at it from that perspective, someone who is buying a normal Rubik's Cube probably already knows how to solve it. In that case, the app is a lot better because you now have access to all the games and the tutorials are used to refresh and refine your skills. Suddenly, the GoCube is looking a lot better until you have to contact support. You may have noticed earlier in the video that I had two GoCubes. That wasn't intentional. The first GoCube that I received was essentially dead on arrival. The cube lit up and did its little dance but it just would not connect to its app. So I did what any customer would do and I contacted support. Cut to the worst and longest support session I've ever had in my entire life. Now don't get me wrong, they did everything I've come to expect from a support team in terms of troubleshooting before ultimately sending me out a new GoCube. However, it nearly took two months from the first email to the last email. Honestly, there were some waiting periods that exceeded a week. This is not okay, GoCube. Do better. So, that's the GoCube, a smart Rubik's Cube that can teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube if you have the patience to put up with it. It is a really smart idea that I'd love to revisit once some core bugs and issues have been fixed. In its current form, I'd like to be generous and give it a 3 star rating. However, if GoCube does fix the issues I've outlined in this video, I'd be happy to revisit my cube and reevaluate it. As a final thought, I would recommend this product to a gadget user who likes Rubik's Cubes as it has a lot of features for someone who likes and potentially knows how to solve Rubik's Cubes would enjoy. However, if you are wanting to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube, it's a much harder sell at its $129 price point.